Adeya, this is a club bit in his ashram and the man behind the creation is right in one of the corners of the tennis court. This is an ideal tennis court, 800 square yards, 120 by 60 feet, created to make one of the most powerful tennis players on this planet Earth, Vishnu Vishesh. But today you see this court is in a very bad shape where this Pandit Fakir Yogi, Vrindar Yogi does a lot of cycling, motorbike, adventure riding skills development and everywhere you see there is a grass and this area is sufficient enough to accommodate near about 25 tennis courts, major being the four Grand Slam surfaces. But destiny has its own shape and plan. That's why it is in such a different state. It is such a dilapidated, devastated, ignored and not at all developed. Lack of fund is the reason for that. Everything was invested in Vishnu Vishesh. Decades passed. She could not make the world best till now, still struggling. And there is a hope, and there is some kind of hope in my mind that anybody, anytime, if they wake from the deep slumber of forgetfulness, awakening from the darkness of fear and doubt, and emerge like a shining moon behind the darkest clouds, everything will change overnight. But that has to be done by Vishnu Vishesh, not by her father, Pandit Fakir Yogi, Vrindri Yogi, who is himself a labya. And so in the corner when I'm sitting, the ideas are coming in my mind and want to put in films so that you will all get inspired. Nothing is impossible for any human being. You are blessed with the power of mind, whatever the mind can conceive and believe the mind can achieve for you. But you have to have a definite goal, definite direction, definite target where you want to hit. Your visions, your ideals, your prophecies, they should not be dim but very clear. And every moment, day by day, in every way, we have to develop your skill, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and targeting that direction, you have to march forward with mighty willpower, determination, commitment, and self-belief, self-reliance, Trusting in your ability, depending very less on the external forces because you are the creator of your ultimate conditions and circumstances. You may not have right to directly create the conditions and circumstances, friends, but if you have that particular thought which is really well planned, focused, totally converging definitely with your thought you can create your conditions and circumstances. Look in the world of tennis. Djokovic, once just a joker, today the 24 Grand Slam champion. Serena and Venus, the twin sisters, I mean two sisters, they were just separated by two years. Serena, the youngest one, Venus, two years older than her. And Richard William forced them and drive them to the target. In every Grand Slam, most of the time, they were playing as champion and runner-up. They were coming to the finals. They are mortals. Look at them. They are just humans, ordinary from this planet Earth. Why not Vishnu Vishesh? And why not you? And why not anybody else? But there is a classifying factor, discriminatory factor. The attitude, the determination, the commitment, the self-belief, and the driving force of that supreme target which makes human being supreme human being and then nothing remains impossible. Wish, Vishnu Vishesh has put her best now. She is grown up child. She is no longer four year baby when I started tennis for her. I made four tennis courts. The first was a Star Tennis Academy which I borrowed from Kakatiya Club, Hafsigurath, Telangana State of India. I have taken on lease 
she was just four year old and she had learned all the 17 strokes of tennis. Many players may not count and know exactly what is 17 strokes, but the prodigy child at the age of three, four, five, six, bastard that. She was coaching her siblings. Siblings means the class friends and all the students which were there in my tennis star academy because to give her company. But when my wife, Dr. Vandana Zahar, took the responsibility and took her to Barcelona Sunset Academy, there the things become different. They came empty-handed after seven years of rigorous training. Friends, nobody can make you. No external forces are responsible for your fate and destiny. You are the master of your fate and you are the captain of your soul. Just by your strong, concentrated, focused attention, you can create wonderful tools of your thought in your mind and you can really create a mansion of glory, greatness, success, strength, might, everything will come to you. And if Vishesh understand that philosophy, this tennis court will have its glorious moment. Everywhere there are ups and downs. The tennis court, Ekalabya Tennis Asram is a downhill. But the nature of laws are different. The laws of nature are different. Ups and downs, days and night, it is for everyone. Look at Nadal, so many injuries. Out of the courts, again bouncing back and winning Grand Slams after Grand Slams. Djokovic, once a joker, today the most glamorous and the most powerful man on the globe of earth. Maybe we say, if she believes in her mighty, invincible commitment and dedication, remove all her fear, doubts and all the setbacks of the past, she can really rewrite the history. Grand Slams after Grand Slams. These are nothing miracles. Did it. Serena did it. Steffi Graf did it. Margaret Court did 75 years back. 24 Grand Slam record is still for the women. Now, Chekhovich has matched that. Beloved friends, I believe in such impossible becoming, very much possible within my reach because I will grab it. I will crush it under my legs and I will jump more higher and higher. That is me, Eklabya myself, Pandit Fakir Yogi, Brindy Yogi. Get inspired and motivated. Have your definite purpose. Seek the advice of the best brains who really loves you and care for you. But first and foremost, you are the supreme power. Power of your belief and faith and trust in your ability and capability. You have everything. Simply have to ignite the fire and you have to go with the speed of the rockets pushing forward. Pushing, pushing and pushing and going on the moon and mass and reaching every glorious heights where nobody could have dreamed. Thank you.